Good afternoon, Living Hope. Today, day 19, and we could not be more excited. We are in the home stretch, and I think there's actually nothing better than that sense of accomplishment you That's get right. when you spend 21 days with Jesus. You're like, woo! Yeah. I'm coming out of this. I'm a spiritual ninja. Let You're a spiritual ninja. You already were a spiritual ninja. Jedi. And all of you, <laughs> Jedi, all of you are spiritual ninjas. Today and the next two days, we're going deep, deep, deep oh, into yeah. Sabbath, and we're here uh, with a Sabbath expert, which is really exciting, Pastor Jester Clint is going to take us deeper today. We're going to start it all out with a quote from the book from my good friend, Lucas. Let's go. I love Sabbath. I love this whole idea. Mm -hmm. uh, page 228. What God created on Sabbath can quite possibly be, be summarized in the priestly blessing. Mm -hmm. And then number 6, 24 mm -hmm. through 26. Mm -hmm. The Lord bless you mm -hmm. and keep you. The Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Mm -hmm. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. You guys remember Beautiful. that we say that every single Sunday, right? The Lord bless you and keep you. Pastor Jess, in your words, <laughs> what does it mean for God to, for God's face to shine upon us? Yeah. <laughs> and we were just talking about this in an earlier appointment today. So exactly. it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a great love. I see what you did there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> his face is his eyes. Yeah. yeah. And there's something, the way our brain works, that when we see in somebody's eyes that they want to be with us or they like being with us, it creates automatically joy with them. Wow. Now, we were talking today about Psalms 32, mm -hmm. and that whole thing in there is David starts in there, he cries out, basically, instruct me, teach me your ways, yeah. and then the whole I think comes mm -hmm. in. Yeah. Because yeah. this is what contemplation is all about. This is what mm -hmm. Sabbath, this is what slowing your soul down is all about. Mm -hmm. It's about letting God look you in the eyes, mm -hmm. communicate to you, so you absolutely know, mm -hmm. I delight in you, I delight in yeah. what you're doing. I'm, wow. I'm, I'm so thrilled with you, yeah. I wanna be yeah. with you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. And that being, instead of bit and bridle, like it's in a horse and mule, it goes on to uh, Psalm 30, you talk about yeah. that. Instead of you being guided by a bit and bridle, you're guided by the very eyes of God. Mm -hmm. That's and the eyes of God are showing, oh, I like that, Lucas. I, yeah. I really like that. Wow. You're saying back to me, I really like that. I love being with you and all. Yeah. That should be the motivation of our life. So wow. Sabbath is basically retuning and restoring our life to that moment of recognizing we are living in the eyesight of God and his eyes are on us shining. That means yeah. sparkling. I love being with you. Very and powerful. that's the whole thing we're constantly trying to restore in our life. Yeah. The sparkle of God's eyes. Yeah. I love being with you. Come on. Pastor Jess, would you take it even a step further then? Because as we sense God's delight in us, something beautiful happens. I find that my boys sense Ben and I's delight yeah. in them. Wow. We actually sense their delight in us. And the whole Sabbath day is us reflecting that light back that we've been receiving mm -hmm. to our family, to our friends. Would you say that it goes that step further? I think it does. And I think a lot of families get turned around a bit <laughs> because um, they are not, the kids don't know what delights their parents. Wow. wow. And so I think that confusion is there. I think that has to be very crisp, very clear, very mm -hmm. clean. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. What delights us. Yeah. And so that doesn't delight me. So there's some kind of discipline, knock that off. Mm -hmm. Well, what does delight you? I'm confused mm -hmm. because it's, um, it, particularly in America right now, it's difficult to be consistent and to be consistent in expressing to mm. our children what's delightful. So somebody asked me this today. They said, as a, like you're a pastor, right? So she wanted, she wanted to bless her pastor. She says, as a pastor, what can I do for you, give to you? Like, what would bless you A million you the dollars. Most? Yeah, well, I, I didn't think of that. <laughs> oh, okay. I said, the greatest <laughs> gift my church can give me is to honor and love and delight in one another. That's Beautiful. the greatest gift they could give me. Beautiful. Why? because now you got some traction. Mm -hmm. When people are sensing the blessing and the delight of God and other people upon them, they have a chance now to be motivated, not by the force of God, not by some, some trial they're going through. They are really walking in his presence, mm -hmm. living just in the pleasure of God, mm -hmm. which wow. is, I believe, how we were created. Right. Wow, that's, that's right. beautiful. Now, in this chapter, you do something really great. <laughs> you give us these seven components of a Sabbath, 
kinds of rest we're looking for and then you give us kind of the flow of how a Sabbath meal can go. Do you want to talk us through this real quick? Well, could. I mean, I, mean, you, you, I call them all rest, you know, meal rest, spiritual rest, church gathering rest, spontaneous rest. So these, there's these, all these moments of rest that you can use in a Sabbath. It's not like you have to use all seven. Okay. And by the way. This isn't a checklist. No, it's not a checklist. Okay. And by the way, I only put seven in here because seven is a good number. Yeah, number of God. I have 15 of them listed out. Wow. So there's Whoa. 15 <laughs> different. Where do we get that extra yeah. credit, there, Russ? Yeah. There, there's, there's, because because everybody can kind of figure it out on their own. There are like 15 that I know of different yeah. things that we can do Beautiful. to be sharing the light, to, to just be in, to, to kind of finish up the day of saying, bless you, God, Beautiful. and bless this day, and bless you, family, and on and on it goes. So that's really what that is, and I think we should be looking at ways. So it's not that we've got to check us, we've got to do all mm -hmm. of these. It's like you were telling me, you know, like you will take a drive to the coast now yeah, on, yeah. on your Sabbath day. People, and that's kind of a setting. You know, you're, the enjoyment, the beauty of driving right, right. over, you know, whatever all that is. Mm -hmm. So you got to find out what, what, what turns your crank in yeah. Jesus yeah. that causes you to just love him more, Beautiful. love your family more, Beautiful. enjoy the day more. Beautiful. So this isn't a checklist. It's just ideas. Ideas. Sabbath <laughs> meal. We've already in depth looked at communion. Critical. We'll see you Sunday to take gather at the Lord's table. But would you talk us really quickly through this meal part? Well, I do think... I do think the lighting of the candle or, or doing something that starts the meal is important. It sets this meal off yes. from every other meal. Excellent. So how, however you so do that. So this isn't religion. This no. isn't even liturgy. This is cueing all of us. This is different than the yeah. rest of the meals of That's the week. Right. Yeah. That's right. And you can, you can do liturgy on it. This reminds us that you are my light and salvation. Beautiful. Wow. You know? Beautiful. So you, you can do things like that. So I think it's, uh, starting it in some ways is important. Beautiful. I think preparing the Sabbath meal. I remember yeah. one time I got a bang because yeah. your your son sent me a picture of the Sabbath meal he made. Yeah, <laughs> that's great stuff. So he made the Sabbath yeah. meal. I guess tacos or something. That was, but it was homemade great. refried yeah. meats. Amazing. I mean, how, yeah, amazing. How how much fun amazing. is that? It's just great. So I think that's important. And then at, at times invite you said that you just did yeah. that recently. You invited yeah. another family over yeah. to Sabbath. Beautiful. I think once in a while doing that. In fact, we're going to be leaning in this year, encouraging people. I think it could be the most evangelic place on yeah. the face of the earth yeah. is inviting, inviting guests into your Sabbath. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Definitely. even if you don't talk about God, you can talk to them about how how Jesus sees them speaking. Yeah. I think this might be how God looks yeah. at you. Exactly. So then, then you know, inviting others to the Sabbath meal. Mm -hmm. And then this whole blessing thing that I, uh, that I go over here. And I think the blessing should be a staple for every meal. We're blessing mm -hmm. God. Yeah. We're blessing others. Definitely. And wow. I, I won't go through this, but I think there's many different ways to land a blessing at the meal and so i don't think it always has to be here's my card it can be what are you, what are you looking forward yeah. to this next yeah. week yeah. Uh, what is, what is one of your dreams yeah. and then blessing that yeah. dream wow. so it isn't always i'm going to give you something yeah. it it should entail a lot of that but Beautiful. it's one thing it could bless my kid well I would like to be an NBA basketball player. Well, God, make that happen if that's your will. <laughs> and if that happens, oh God, may he actually be a witness when he plays. And so, may he on. give Pastor Jess that million dollars hey, that will on. bless him. That, come on, come on. So I don't think you should be a dream killer there, yeah. but I think it's a wonderful place yeah, to celebrate. Yeah, I can definitely. see you doing that Beautiful. if that's what God wants. Wow. So I think we've got to find many, many different ways to create an atmosphere of blessing, yeah. Yeah. blessing, yeah. Yeah. blessing yeah. Yes. at the table. I wow. love this. Uh, one wow. of my favorite authors, Richard Rohr, says that he believes our whole world is suffering from a lack of yes. blessing. They're not wow. being blessed. Wouldn't it be incredible if the people of God became this force in their homes, with their friends, yes. with people who don't know Jesus, and we're just restoring yeah. the blessing of God back 100%. to the earth. Which, let me say this. <laughs> If you're even thinking about not coming to the conference, huge mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. the start conference mm -hmm. is a moment and a place. It's mm -hmm. it's actually mm -hmm. our church's yearly Sabbath that we do together. Yes. Wow. Yeah. And you are going to have the blessing and the yes. wonder and the delight yes. of Come God on. poured yes. upon you. Every yes. single person, yep. you don't want to miss it. Because you'll either start one thing, you'll either start a new beginning, or you'll be on the start to your end. Yeah. I wow. suggest let's be on the start to yes. our beginning. So get out yes. to the Absolutely. start conference. And I would take that even a step further. You right now are probably thinking of some people in our community or friends you have who you're like, man, they need to come to conference. Yep. Right now, you have our permission. Get your phone out, text mm -hmm. them and say, them get to conference. Maybe you have five. Invite them all. We want everybody there. We want everybody yeah, blessed. Definitely. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow. We are in the home stretch. <laughs> Bye.